now i would like to ask you my dear brothers and sisters this question why did god create us why did, why did god create a human being this is one question many people ask why did god create you and me why did he create us and we are all going through struggles and difficulties sicknesses and problems why did he create us i know one girl who came to me and said father why god created me so this is how many people have this question why god created us if you want the answer if you look into your own life you will get the answer because we are image and likeness therefore when we examine our own life we will understand god because we are in his image and likeness we are created therefore if we look at look into our life you will go you will know the mind of god if i examine my own life i can see the mind of god praise the lord praise the lord for example no human being wants to be isolated island everyone is a social being first of all secondly you know from our birth if you notice every human being from our birth we have a tendency to share we have a tendency to share we have a tendency to speak to others we have a tendency to love we have a tendency to show compassion mercy this is our human nature and not only that each moment we want to grow we want to grow inside we go, want to grow outside inside we want to know knowledge and education power understanding from the moment not because we want to get a job we are we are studying even if we don't need a job if you look at a child the child always ask questions mama why is this why is that what is that what is this this questions is a clear sign the child wants to know more and the child also has got a tendency to create that is why we buy the toys and give it to the children children will make small houses children will create you know children want family children will draw pictures and say this is mummy this is daddy this is children this child this is my so these all these this is human tendency even if we even if we are grown up we want to build a house we want bigger house and bigger house we want to get more money power more position so these are all human you can see a development a growth a creation a aspect of creation in all human being that is that is only human beings have this the animals do not have this you may not you may not see animals developing their skills the birds are making nest but all the birds in all the history all the generations they make the same kind of nest even the animals the the small caves or the small houses that they have they make they all make the same way forever forever every generation but we human beings always develop initially human beings used to sleep and stay in the caves but now we have so many so many super powerful uh, bungalows and houses and most sophisticated housing complexes so because we have this nature because we are created in the image and likeness therefore if you ask me this question why did god create us god created because that is his nature that is his nature creation is is nature first thing secondly creation is to share his love creation he created the whole world for himself he created the whole world to share his love to share his compassion to share his knowledge share his love the the mercy to share his greatness he has created the whole world that is why if you you know if you see a beautiful place when you go alone if you happen to see a beautiful place then the first thing that you will think is next time i have to bring my family here or i want to bring my husband or wife here my loved one here i want to show him or show her this place so that is human tendency if there is a happiness we want to share it because we are created in the image and likeness god 
the heavenly father the only true god he is full of happiness full of joy full of love so he decided to share this love this joy so that his joy will be completed and he's he has the complete joy and his joy wants to be sh shown and expressed and therefore he has created this whole universe including human beings so his a creation is an extension of his love when a husband and wife love each other a creation takes place a child is born when the child is born love is not reduced but instead the love is expanded now initially it was only the love between husband and wife now the love is expanded to the child and if there are more children to more children and then grandchildren and grandchildren the love is expanded and great, become great and holy so the same way god expanded his love god exploded his love and that is what we call creation praise the lord